This is a beginner focus tutorial on how to make vegetation in Quake 1 using Trench Broom. Uh, it's actually quite easy, but it's quite difficult to understand if you're just beginning with um, you know, building brushes and you want to make your maps a little bit more pretty. So um, the first thing you'll want to do is have a few wads. You'll need, uh, you'll need two. You'll need a wad with the actual vines in it, and you'll need a wad that has the skip texture. Um, so, down here, right, what we're going to do is, so, we have a ground, we have a wall, and we have an upper wall, so we want some vines to come uh, from this wall, you know, and kind of give like a nice parallax effect, and be all, be all nice, so, what I like to do is, I like to, uh, you select a, uh, a brush by clicking on it, and then holding shift, you will be able to highlight faces. By holding control with shift and dragging away from the face, you can extend your, uh, you can extrude a brush from the, tech, uh, from the brush you've selected. So from here we'll go down to grid one by pressing one on the keyboard and we'll bring it that in so it's one pixel uh, in length. Then you'll want to pull it down to however, how long you want the vines to be. So. Here's a very important part. Uh, this brush will need to be textured with skip on all signs that you don't intend there to be visible sprites of the vines. So um, if you select this face with shift click and then you add uh, something like, you know, any, any vine will work obviously. I'll just find a more aesthetically pleasing one, I guess. Where are they? That's right there in the other one. So, take these and we'll just scroll them up using the arrow keys. You can also drag them in the viewer, uh, but that can be very uh, imprecise sometimes. So once you've done that, you'll want to extend, either extend the texture up until you can see the bottoms, or extend the brush down to compensate. And uh, so once you've done that, you should have a brush that only has the vines on one side. Select this face again, the one with the brushes on it, uh, the one with the vines on it, sorry. Come to the back here where your other skip is and hold Alt and click. That'll mirror the uh, vines on this side. Uh, so you won't have to realign and they'll look like they are semi-3D um, uh, semi-3D sort of things uh, and once you're done select your brush again right click and change your change the make the brush into a brush entity with create brush entity funk detail illusionary and what this means is that um, your map will take shorter to compile these brushes will not seal a map if you've learned about sealing, and uh, the player will be able to move freely between the vines because you don't want the players to get caught up on a little shrubbery or a vine. So now let's start with a f uh, let's do a fern just to uh, exercise what we've learned. So we will select this fern texture. Right here we go. So we've got a nice little fern here, but it is too big as you see. It is uh, 32 by 64 right now, so we're going to make this very, very... Let's see, I've already forgotten something. Make it one unit uh, long, select the skip texture, and then apply your fern texture back on there. Uh, so shift click on the face here, and then alt click on the other face to mirror. And then for these, these usually look good if you do something like this. So. Uh, what we're doing here is, if you click and drag, you will move. But if you hold control and drag, you'll duplicate. So we want to duplicate the uh, fern. Hit R to enter the rotational tool. And just give it a little bit of rotation. It doesn't have to be 90. And add it there. So now when the player sees this, they'll see a more three-dimensional looking, depthy sort of fern. Um, and I will show you, the, show you this in game in just a moment. And uh, there we go. The uh, vines look very viney. The ferns look three-dimensional and ferny. 
and uh, it all uh, kind of brings it all together. It kind of looks less like a boxy room. Um, so yeah, all of those uh, texture wads I used, including the one that includes skip, will be in a download in the description, uh, along with this map file, just for you to have a, have a gander at. Have a good one.